A recent environmental pollution study finds microplastics in most protein sources we eat. Chelsea Swift spoke to a local scientist about what this means for our health and how to help combat a growing issue. As scientists continue to research microplastics, they're finding that these tiny plastic particles are in more than just water. They're also in our food. A local expert says a recent study takes a closer look at commonly consumed proteins. Shrimp and chicken and beef, tofu, um, you know, various kind of protein sources that most people uh, ingest. Regardless of which protein source, they all had microplastics within them. Dr. Mason says now the question is, what does this mean for human health? Adding while more research is needed about microplastics, the chemicals used in the manufacturing of plastics are endocrine disruptors, which means they mimic hormones. She says those chemicals are affecting people's ability to reproduce. Sperm counts are going down um, on the male side and for women, um, our, our eggs are basically older than they should be. Dr. Mason says due to the abundance of plastic pollution, a plastic treaty will be finalized by the end of the year. The United Nations ranks plastic pollution second only to climate change in terms of its potential impact on the survival of our species. The City of Erie's sustainability coordinator says Erie residents can still make a difference by using their recycling vendor and carrying reusable water bottles, straws, and containers. It can really seem overwhelming because of how much plastics in our society and how much we just use it with like baggies and packing your lunches. But if you look a little bit further, there's always an alternative that you could find to use instead. Chelsea Swift, Jet 24 Action News.